In my 55 years of talking agriculture to a Midwest audience and an urban audience in Chicago and suburbs, I daily use the line, if you eat, you're involved in agriculture. And as far as I know, that doesn't leave many of us out. And so the need to help people understand the importance of agriculture, not only to our dinner plate and to the roof over our head and the clothes on our back and now energy in the tank, becomes more vital than ever. All I do is look at my family. I grew up on a farm in Wisconsin milking cows. My children had a farm to go to and visit as they were growing up. My grandchildren do not have a farm to go and visit anymore. And so the need to communicate and reach that audience in any way that we can is, I think, extremely important. And the world of politics has never been more important to the uh, people in rural communities across America, the people served by RFD TV and by rural radio. Fifteen years now that RFD TV has been a part of the landscape in rural America and increasingly in urban America. As I do find people who want to know where their food comes from and how it's produced and how the animals are cared for. And through the media outlets of RFD TV, we can do that now. So I'm very excited about hosting the political world between now and the next election, especially interested in having an hour with Donald Trump to talk agriculture. That should be a lot of fun. And uh, so we're looking forward to the opportunity to discuss politics of agriculture with people who want to lead the country.